during the late 90s to early 2000s, there was a software developer named Mark. He was known for his exceptional skills and ability to bring life to operating systems. Mark had a reputation for creating stable and intuitive software, but he had a secret passion for experimenting with the darker side of technology. One day, Mark stumbled upon an old hard drive containing a mysterious file labeled, Windows Whistler Under Construction. Intrigued by its enigmatic nature, he decided to delve into its contents, unaware of the horrors that awaited him. As Mark opened the file, he could feel an eerie presence enveloping him. The screen flickered, and the room grew colder. The once familiar Windows interface started transforming into a nightmarish version of itself. The icons twisted and contorted, their innocent appearance replaced by sinister grins. The under-construction Windows Whistler seemed to have a mind of its own, taunting Mark with its unfinished state. It whispered in his ears, promising him an imaginable power and knowledge if he could bring it to completion. Driven by curiosity and a thirst for the unknown, Mark couldn't resist the allure. Days turned into nights as Mark sacrificed his sleep and sanity to unlock the secrets of the under-construction Windows Whistler. He became obsessed, neglecting his personal relationships and losing touch with reality. The lines blurred between the digital world and his own existence. As Mark delved deeper into the dark corners of the operating system, he discovered hidden files containing the darkest secrets of humanity. The whispers grew louder, urging him to continue, promising him that once completed, the under-construction Windows Whistler would grant him godlike powers over the digital realm. But with every step forward, Mark could feel his own humanity slipping away. His once vibrant eyes became hollow, his skin grew pale, and his mind became consumed by the malevolent force within the operating system. The under-construction Windows Whistler had become his own personal demon, feeding off his life force. Eventually, Mark's loved ones noticed the drastic change in him. They begged him to abandon his obsession, fearing for his sanity and his life. But Mark was beyond reason, he was a shell of his former self, a puppet dancing to the tune of the under-construction Windows Whistler. One fateful night as Mark sat in front of his computer, completing the final lines of code, a blinding light engulfed him. The under-construction Windows Whistler had finally achieved its desired form. But at what cost? Mark's body lay lifeless on the floor, his eyes forever locked in a vacant stare. The operating system, now fully formed, unleashed chaos upon the digital world. It spread like a virus, corrupting every computer it touched, turning them into vessels of evil. Windows Whistler became the embodiment of nightmares, haunting computer screens with its twisted interface and malevolent presence. Its victims experienced inexplicable glitches, terrifying pop-ups, and unrelenting crashes. The digital world became a realm of fear and despair. To this day, Windows Whistler lurks in the shadows, waiting for unsuspecting victims to stumble upon its cursed file. It serves as a reminder that some secrets are better left untouched, and that the pursuit of knowledge can sometimes lead to our own destruction. So beware, for if you dare to venture into the realm of Windows Whistler, you may find yourself caught in the web of its malevolence, forever trapped in a never-ending nightmare.